Hello everyone, welcome to this new kind of video. It's going to be different, a lot more different than Pokemon Dark Violet. Don't worry, that's not dead yet. Um, we're personally just taking a hiatus. I've just been very busy as of late and I just wanted to let you guys know what um, I see for the channel in the foreseen future and uh, kind of what I'm interested in right now and what we're gonna be doing in today's video. And I'm making a lot of hand gestures and I'm wearing a yellow shirt, which is very yellow. I'm wearing my glasses. And yes, first thing I want to talk about is something that probably isn't affecting anyone, is the ridiculous heat wave that we are having right now in California. We are pushing at like the past seven or eight days, just like over 105, which is absolutely mind melting. And it's just insane. But get into the main point of this video. Um, I've really gotten into TCG collecting. Um, now, if you guys do not know what that is, that is the trading card game for Pokemon, and I've really gotten into it as of late. Um, I'd say the past two months. Uh, there's just two particular sets that I'm kind of two modern sets that I'm interested in, and um, I'm going to be talking about that later. Also, I'm going to be talking about vintage sets that I'm interested in. But today, uh, we are going to be doing a box opening of one of those sets, and I'm also going to talk about what sets I'm trying to collect. I just think collecting is really cool, um, just because I've been a fan for so many years, and I th am so sad that I threw most of my cards away when I was younger. And I'm trying to build that back up, just so I can have it when I'm older, or if it has a crazy spike in, in value in the next 20 years or something like that, or you know my kids later on, just so I can show them what was what it was alike back when I was younger. Um, it's just something that I'm very interested in right now. I'm also very interested in the market the market for TCG cards. Um, I'm not really sure this is the correct time to buy because the prices are so high, bars, um, but I'm just very interested in it and I'm probably getting in at a really bad time, but I really don't care um, because I'm collecting stuff that I know I'll enjoy. Even if the price declines a little bit, it's still something that I personally enjoy looking at, collecting, and if you guys are definitely interested in that, I want to uh, take you guys along for the road, the journey. I was going to do this stuff anyways, and I decided why not try to make videos about it and um, kind of just bring you guys along with the journey. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Um, I'm probably going to be a little all over the place just because I'm not used to this style of video. I uh, usually am doing Let's Plays and stuff like that. If you guys have been around my channel, uh, that's what I'm usually used to, but I really enjoy this hobby as of now, and I kind of want to just go for it, you know, just have some fun, open some packs, collect some good cards, and uh, like I said earlier, bring you guys along for the journey. So, the first, the two modern sets that I'm really into um, these days are Hidden Fates and Shining Legends. Um, I think that those sets have really cool cards that are really hyped up right now, obviously, that people are just like really loving, and obviously that's going to make the price go ridiculous, so I really am bummed that they're just so expensive and everything like that, but I really enjoy the cards. Um, today we are actually going to be opening up a Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box just because um, I really want a PSA 10 Ho-Oh, Shining Ho-Oh. Um, and I just feel like the best chance I can get for that cheaply, as long as we're getting other cards, um, is to open up the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. Um, if you guys do not know what PSA is, it's a professional sports authentication service that um, grades the value of cards based on the hollow, based on the backs of the cards, based on the centering, based on the wear and tear of the card. Um, generally, I'm going for PSA 9s or PSA 10s, which PSA 10 is means that it's a perfect card and it just does not have any problems with it. But PSA 9 has little dings in here, here and there. But yeah, that's generally what I'm going for here. But yeah, I want to show off the uh, Shining Legend box I have that we are going to open up today. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's um, centered in the camera. I can't see anything. But we are going to be opening up the Shining Legends box today. And also, we're going to start um, showing the vintage collection that I'm collecting right now. It's one of my favorite sets growing up. And I'm just going to show you, I got a PSA 9 graded card. I'm not going to show you the front yet. I'll do a little whoop. 
I don't know, maybe you saw it, maybe you saw it, but we're also going to be going over that. So if you guys are excited for any of that today, please hit that like button down below. And uh, I'm just really excited for this journey that hopefully you and I can go on together. And we're going to flip it over to the phone and we're going to get these boxes and cards ready to show off. All right, so we flipped over to the phone. Hopefully you guys can hear me well and hopefully you guys can see well. I'm really working with a makeshift setup because uh, I'm not trying to put any money into this, <laughs> into uh, making the setup look nice. But our, our overall, things are going to get much nicer as we move along. But I wanted to show off this old school Pokemon lunchbox that I'm rocking with uh, that I had in like kindergarten. So yeah, it's an old school. It's going to be our little background as of now. And we're going to just hop right into this. So we're going to check out the Shining Legends box. Um, hopefully the lighting is not too bad. Like I said, we are really just trying to work with what we got. And I will just try to move our way around it. But yeah, we got the Shines Legends box. It does include that um, rare promo holo ho-oh card that I just really want to be PSA 10. Um, I really like the design of it. And I'm hoping that it's in good condition when we get in this. Also, we get 10 booster back booster packs for Shining Legends. And also, we get like 65 card sleeves and energy cards and stuff that, you know... I'm not really into energy cards, but we do get the fairy energy card, which is no longer being used because fairy type Pokemon are no longer uh, going to be a thing in a TCG. So yeah, we're going to get this thing open. Hopefully we don't struggle too much. I'm obviously going to really struggle opening up these packs um, because, because obviously I'm an idiot. And if you guys want to know what the price of this box was worth or what I paid for this box. I'm going to put it on the screen now. It is a stupid amount of money and I probably should have just um, not not opened this and just kept it sealed. But it is in this nice sleeve which I want to keep really nice and this box is really cool actually. Um, we get a um, kind of a, what's this called? I don't know, like a directions. It kind of shows what kind of cards are in the pack as well as uh, you know, just information about it. So yeah, we're gonna check that around. And this shiny Volcanion is really awesome. I really don't like Volcanion, but it is such a cool Pokemon. Um, but yeah, let's just stop dilly dallying because Shining Legends is such an old pack that most of you should know what Shining Legends is if you're into the whole TCG scene. But if you're not, then you and I are both gonna be here to learn. But as I said, we got this sweet box um, and my lighting is just so bad. But yeah, we're going to open this bad boy and see what we got inside. So we got our sleeves, which I believe are 45 sleeves. So we're going to definitely be using those today um, to protect our cards. Uh, also, we got our, I believe, 10 packs. 10 packs. And I'm really going to struggle opening these. I just, just, I promise you it's going to be rough to watch because I'm currently like bear hugging my camera. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, either I can't count or we got screwed. Oh no, there's 10. Okay, perfect. So there's 10. We're going to open those later, put those on the side over here. Honestly, later I might go with the old scissors approach, using scissors to open this thing. And here's our big old pack of energies. If you're into playing the game, uh, I personally am into playing the online game, but I don't want to pay for the um, pack, or not the online pack, the, um, what is that called? It's like a... Pff, I don't know. I don't really know. But here's the die. Pretty basic die. Uh, just a black die. Um, and they're really cool. Um, I think my favorite is there's these like tie-dye. Tie-dye die. And uh, they're just really cool. Here's the poison and damage boost for if you're playing in person. And what else do we have? Is this just a random... Okay, just a random little cardboard thing. Um, and where is that... Oh. We got more of those random cardboard things. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know what these are, but I guess they're cool. Um, I'm looking for the promo. Oh, here you go. I'll give you guys the code. Um, I don't use the codes, like I said, so I'm going to cover up that. And then you guys can input that code. If you guys do enjoy Pokemon TCG Online, you can use this code and get free packs. So we are going to hunt for that. But we're going to go for our first pack, and we'll just kind of see what we get. So these packs are a lot easier than the packs I opened the other day, um, and I'm still struggling to open these packs. Um, there you go. Here's the code card for you guys. Put that away, 
and we I, th I believe it's one, two, three to the front, and the energy should be on the back. Okay, cool, just making sure I got that right. But we have here a Volcania, well, Volcarona, Spiritomb, Pokemon Breeder. Um, let's try to get closer. That's probably a better angle for you guys. A Totodile, which this Totodile card is absolutely beautiful. Holy cow, this thing is so cool. Totodile, which I love. Old school Pokemon. We got Torkoal. We got Pikachu looking out of the little rainbow, which is awesome. We got Jinx. We have Shroomish. We have a Reverse Hollow Shaman, which is actually pretty cool with the moves Flippity Flap. They're really running out of, t out of Pokemon names. We have a Palkia Hollow, which is really cool, actually. I don't know if I can get you that. I got that rainbow foil on it, and it's just a really pretty card. So we're starting it off not too bad. Not too bad at all. Make sure to get those hollows in sleeves, and the rest should be good. We're going to be opening up another pack and not fail as hard opening up this one, I hope. Um, we're going to make sure to keep all those cards nice and pretty, and we will get you guys that code card. Beautiful. And we will go one, one, two, three to the front. And we got the Feraligator looking absolutely fierce. I don't care that this is not a rare card. Uh, it's just a really cool card to me. Um, we got a How, who I just despise. We have Golurk. We have Jinx again, who's looking absolutely terrifying. Um, Pikachu. Ekans. Toracat, Breloom, a Reverse Stunfisk, who is just chilling on the beach, which doesn't make any sense because it's a ground electric type, so it should not want to be in the water. And we got an Eveltal, which, whew, that looks pretty cool. Not a fan of Gen 6, if you guys know me, but Eveltal Hollow is pretty dang cool. I'm trying to get you guys that shine, and uh, obviously... Um, I'm not going to be just one of those people that are screaming and uh, being an absolute psychopath. Oh, you're kidding! You're flipping! Oh my god! Yo! Holy smokes! This is not rigged! But we're going to have some fun here and just open up some packs. Maybe just like a little ASMR for those people. More of a relaxing pack opening not so much just in your face screaming about everything <laughs> i know that people enjoy the in your face screaming about everything and i'm gonna keep that new shining legends pack because that is awesome i haven't really showed off the art for that shining legends pack um but we're gonna give you guys this code hopefully you guys do use these because i personally will not so hopefully someone gets used for them i know you can sell them but um i don't i already do three to the front oh my god i don't know did I? Oh god, did I just screw up? I totally did just screw up. Okay, so we're going backwards through this pack. We got Scraggy Reverse, and we have a Reshiram Hollow. We're getting kind of lucky with these hollows. Um, I would like to get a Full Art or a Shiny, which um, would just make it all worth it. This pack was, like I said, I don't think I did say it. I think I put it on the screen, but this Reshiram Hollow is really cool, and we're going to make sure to sleeve that up. And we got our Feraligator, we got a Carnivine, we got Lily, we got Ivysaur, which the art is really cool. Uh, we got Torkoal, Minum, Scary Jinx, and a normal Scraggy. So we're going to put those cards down here and keep on moving. Keep on moving. Um, yeah, make sure to say in the comment section below if you guys are actually, if you guys collect Pokemon cards or if you, um, um, if you enjoy doing that or if you guys have a certain set that you guys really like um and i will make sure to open that um i have looked at the new set coming up um called champion's path and currently i don't think there's any very good cards in there um just personally i don't think uh <laughs> that i will be going for those packs but um just in the future uh yeah tell me what you guys really like to see and we got a plusle. We got that's pretty cool. Got the dual art with a plusle and a minum. Um, and we're coming to the hollow, which is a reverse hollow totodile, which I think is an absolute, absolutely awesome card. Even though it's not worth, if it's not worth anything, I think it's a personally a cool card. And then we got the Raikou hollow. 
I don't know if this is a good card, but I absolutely love Raikou, or Raikou, however you guys say it. Um, I just love that shine on it. Look at that shine. Holy smokes, that is a beautiful card. We're getting pretty lucky with the, um, with the holographic luck, which I'm not minding. But yeah, we're going to open up. How many more we got? Before we do that, we're going to check out the art of these packs. Um, the Shining Legends is actually really cool art. We got the Shiny Rayquaza, Shiny Genesect. There is a Mewtwo on front. And then, of course, the one you guys saw, the Shining Mew, which is a very expensive card. And I found the card I was looking for. Oh, baby, I found it in its package. We need to look at this closely. Holy crap, look at that ho-ho. Ho-oh, whatever it is. Let's look at the centering. So the goal for PSA 10 cards is the centering here. You want to see how much yellow is on each side. And this card is looking pretty good. It, oh, it has some, oh, you guys see, let me see, is that on the card? It is on the card. There is a white spot right there. Damage from shipping the box, which is such a bummer. But it's okay. I really like this card. Um, I would love to get a PSA, PSA 10 version of this. I don't think this is going to get it since it has that damage over here. But, oh my god, this is one of the coolest cards. We're going to make sure to put this in a sleeve. And, oh, I, I love it. I, even though it's damaged, I'm really sad about that. But I really do like this card. And I just dropped it. So, yep, even more damage. <laughs> People are probably cringing how I'm opening these packs. But yeah, let's move on. Um, I do have... How many more packs left? We have six more packs, so we still have good opportunity for getting something good. And, um, yeah, we're just going to keep on moving. And hopefully we can get those code cards for you guys. And I'm really struggling keeping on the screen, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, we're going to go one, two, three to the front and try to bring this in nice and tight for you guys. Did I go one, two, three to the front? Yeah, I did, but don't pull that. Oh my god. Struggling. These first few episodes are going to be struggling. But we have an Arbok. We do have a Super Scoop Up. We have Sophocles. We got Pikachu. We got another Totodile. We got Bulbasaur. We have Golette. Croconaw, so we have the full evolutionary line. We have a Reverse Spiritomb, which is really cool. And we have a Shining Genesect. <gasps> this card. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Shining Genesect. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure PSA 10, this card is going for a good amount. So let's check this card's... Um, let's check it out. And we did get the Fairy Energy, so that's really cool. Let's make sure there is no damage on this card. Um, it looks good on the centering. A little, maybe a little bit bigger on this side than the other side. And let's look at the back for white spots. There's a little speck right there, if you guys can see. Just a little tiny speck. And that's pretty much... And a little tiny speck down there. But just an absolutely beautiful card. Oh my god, just so pretty. Shining Genesect, that is awesome. Um, I will always try to put the prices of the cards on the screen, and that is awesome, and we have some more packs to go. So, as I said, let's keep on moving on, and I think we're, we've used all our good luck so far, um, and please don't damage the cards, you idiot. Okay, oh, it's scary. You guys don't understand. You guys don't understand, but yeah, there is the code card, if you guys can see that. And we will put that to the side. One, two, three. And let's keep on going. So we got Volcarona. We got Golurk. We got Pokemon Catcher. We got Pikachu. We got another Totodile. We got a Bulbasaur. We got a Golette. Another Croconaw. A Reverse Hollow Scrafty. I believe that will go with our Reverse Hollow Scraggy. And a Marshadow Hollow, which is really cool. Um, and I just dropped it, so super sick. Good start so far. Really showing lots of value to these cards by just dropping them and being an absolute idiot. <laughs> but yeah, Marsh Shadow looking really clean. Is this going awfully? Yes. 
Do I care? No, because I am enjoying myself so much, have not opened packs like this in such a long time, and I'm just really enjoying myself. So we're going to make sure to get these cards out as bad as possible. We're going to flip this over for you guys. There is the code card, and we are going to go one, two, three to the front, and let us not... Well, let's get rid of the energy so we don't screw up that at the end. We did get a steel energy. Um, we got a super scoop up. We got a lily. We got Pokemon Breeder, which is a really cool card. Um, full art. We got Scary Jinx. We got Cute Pikachu. We got Ekans. We got Toracat. We have Breloom. We have Reverse Spiritomb. And we have a Manaphy Holographic, which is really cool. Um, I think that's a really cool card. I think the Hollow is really pretty on this set. You guys can see that rainbow below its feet. So it's just got that little shine. And yeah, really cool card. Make sure we keep all those safe. And I believe we're on our last pack. Just kidding. We have three more. Let's make sure to put those over there. Well, we got three more. And let's move along. Let us move along. We got the code card for you guys back at home. The folks back at home, one, two, three to the front, getting rid of Dark Energy. And we are not going to ruin the revealing. We got Life Hard. We have another awesome for Alligator. We have a Warp Energy. No clue what that is. When you attach this card from your hand, active Pokemon, don't know what that is, but it's cool. Uh, we got another Breloom, and I'm getting off the screen. I do apologize for that. We have Toracat, Larvesta, Purloin, Incineroar, Reverse, and finally, another Reshiram. I think I already got this one, but still a very cool-looking hollow. All right, let's move on. We got two more packs. We got this Rayquaza pack. Hopefully, it has a shiny Rayquaza or a shiny Mew. We already got that shiny Gen Genesect, and we have a beat-up Shining Ho-Oh, which is so sad, but also, you know, it was shipped to us, and, you know, what can I expect? What can I expect? <laughs> but we're going to make sure to get all these cards into sleeves, and I will show you guys what we did pull at the end of this video. We have an Ultra Ball. We have a Live Hard. We have a Volcarona. We got Ekans, Toracat. Breloom, Minum, Larvesta, Reverse Holographic for Alligator, looking badass, and another Eveltal, and a Water Energy. So, yeah. Final pack. This card is going to hold a full art. What is it? Full art something. I don't know. Or a Shining Mew, or a Shining Rayquaza. Something amazing. I can smell it. I can absolutely smell it, but we shall see what we get. Make sure we are not damaging any of the cards, pulling them out, and we will flip that over for you guys, and put that over to the side, and go one, two, three to the front. Flipping over, this should be an energy, a fighting energy, or ground energy. I have no idea what that is. But we have the Venusaur, which is a very cool hollow you can get in the set. Um, but the Venusaur art is really cool. We have the Ultra Ball. We have another Lapard, Larvesta, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Zorua, Litten, Reverse Pikachu, which I think is really clean. And our final card for the day is going to be another Marshadow. Not too bad of pulls today. Um, I really am going to put these cards back together, probably go back into our other setup, and we will show you guys what we got. But before we do that, we are going to show off this PSA vintage card that we did pick up the other day. It is a PSA 9 Dark Vile Plume. Um, this guy also sent me a couple packs with this Dark Vile Plume, so um, I really want to collect the Team Rocket Hollow set for um it's also first edition as you guys can see there uh, i think it's really cool because you can, guys can see it's a psa 9 dark vile plume hollow which i think is just such an awesome card and i'm really excited to try to collect as many psa cards as i can and just build up the collection and uh, if you guys are interested in 
any suggestions of cards that I should pick up, I would definitely look at that. But this is just such a cool card. I love the swirl right there. I think it's such a good swirl, such a good hollow pattern. And uh, yeah, we're going to head over to the other setup and end off this video. So all in all, not a crazy pack opening, but something that I really enjoy doing. Um, also, I just want to let you guys know that this isn't going to be just a pack opening channel. I'm rarely going to be opening any packs, but I've got a lot of exciting things coming in the mail that I'd love to show off for you guys. Um, it's just basically um, showing off my collection, and I'd love to do some market analysis um, sometime. Uh, I don't know if that would be something you guys would be interested in, but I would love to kind of see what the market trends are and what we can see in the future, if there's going to be a dip or if there's just going to be keeping this exponential growth, which I just cannot imagine. But I understand this was a longer video and I was being very quiet, so it's be like ASMR-ish. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. And we are getting another tin in the mail. That is a key word, a tin. So if you guys do want to see that tin being opened up, um, make sure to hit that like button, like I said, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.